Well, with winter practically here, snow blowers are once again a hot commodity. 22 News reporter Nick Oresco is at our Hampshire County Bureau with some ways to stay safe this winter. Yeah, well, snow blowers are great at removing snow. They are also great at removing fingers, which of course no one wants to do. Speaking of snow blowers, they cause more than 5,000 serious injuries each year. To make sure that you don't end up going to the emergency room this winter, avoid wearing loose clothing, clo clothing I should say. Loose pants, jackets, and scarves, they can easily become tangled in the moving parts of that snowblower. We stopped at Foster's Ferrara in Northampton today. They have all their winter equipment out for the season, and they recommend checking your equipment before the first snow hits, making sure it all works properly. Snow throwers now come with a small paddle that is attached attached to it and that helps clear clear out the uh, you know shoot if you don't have a paddle a old broom broomstick something along those lines just don't stick your hand in there since 2003, roughly 9,000 Americans have lost a finger to a snowblower-related injury, according to the Consumer Product Safety Commission data. Now, overall, more than 15% of people who go to the ER as a result of a snowblower injury end up getting some fingers amputated. So, of course, bottom line here, now that winter is approaching, keep your fingers out of that snowblower. We are live in Northampton this evening. Nick Oresco, 22 News.